Hello children and adults and welcome to Godly Play. I am so happy that you are here, that we're able to worship from my home to your home. As you can see children, I already have my stuffed animal in my blanket. And if you don't have a stuffed animal or your blanket with you, why don't you go grab one real quick while I share a note with the parents. Adults, it is so great to be able to worship with your children, even if it is online. We continue to read from our Growing in God's Love, a story Bible. And again, if you don't have this Bible just yet, uh, please send an email to me or Matthew Biscop. We'll be reading today from a story that's a little bit different from our scriptural text this Sunday, um, but I hope that it's a great message for our children today. Children, I am so happy that you are back. If you have your Bible with you, you can turn to page 292. This story is called Left Out, and it's from Acts 6, 1 through 7. Why don't we jump right in? If you've ever been the last one chosen for a team on the playground, you know how it feels to be left out. It helps when someone else stands up for you. Listen for some people who are left out and for who stands up for them in this story. Some of the new believers who joined the disciples on Pentecost came from Greece, and they only spoke Greek. Some were from Galilee and Palestine, and they spoke only Aramaic. And now they were living together. They wanted to get along, but they didn't speak the same language. As the days went by, a problem turned up. The people who gave out the food were living out the widows who spoke Greek. You remember that it was important that each person has enough food. And this upset people who spoke Greek. When the twelve disciples heard about this, they told everyone whether they spoke Greek or Aramaic, to come to a meeting. We're so busy, the disciples said. We need to pray and tell people about Jesus. And we don't have time to make sure everyone is getting enough food. So here's an idea. Choose seven people. Choose people you all like. Choose people who are smart and who love God. They will be in charge of giving out the food. And what a good idea! Everyone thought about who the seven people should be. And each one was liked by everyone. Each one was smart and loved God. And each one spoke Greek. These people were going to make sure that everyone had enough food and that no one was left out. The disciples prayed for the seven people they had chosen. They put their hands on the shoulders of the seven people and blessed them. And the disciples wanted these new leaders to know they had important work to do. More and more people believed in Jesus too. Even some Jewish priests believed in Jesus. Amen. And in the picture Bible, you'll see some of uh, some of the pictures of a diverse crowd and then these buildings with the words serve, love, pray, and live. And I wonder what you hear from our story. When was the last time you heard someone complain? Yeah, maybe not too long ago. What did they complain about? And did you listen to them? I wonder what you see from our story. Who in our story is left out? Yeah, the Greeks. And I wonder, when you are with your friends, do you look around to see if anyone is left out? Yeah, it takes special eyes to see when 
Maybe someone is being left out and we can reach out to them. And I wonder how we can act from our story today. Maybe today we can reach out to a friend who is feeling left out. And we can ask what we can do to make our friends feel better, to make your friend feel better. Friends, I wonder if you will pray with me as we close our time together. Why don't you bow your heads and repeat after me. Dear God, we thank you for this day, for your story today of including everyone. We ask you for eyes to see if someone or a friend is being left out and for the courage to bring them in and to help them feel included. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, friends, for, for joining me for Godly Play. I can't wait to see you next time.